Let me ask you a question about OMB Director Mulvaney, who said this about the president's budget. He said, when you start looking at places where we reduce spend spending, one of the questions we asked was, can we really continue to ask a coal miner in West Virginia or a single mom in Detroit to pay for these programs? The answer was no. Why isn't that a good way to, when you got a $20 trillion deficit, why not use that as the way to figure your it's priorities It's really out? stunning that he would t mention coal miners in West Virginia, because I didn't even vote uh, for the omnibus bill at the end of the year because they did not take care of the coal miners in West Virginia or their widows and orphans. So for him to use that phrase is something quite appalling. You can't see it right here, but I have a coal miner carved out of coal right there uh, as a tribute to the, the hard work they do. Even though I think that coal is not good for the environment, I do think we have a responsibility to the workers. Uh, and so uh, what, he didn't say anything about uh, tax reform so that we have fairness in our tax code and we have people having shipping money overseas and the rest to avoid paying for our national defense and all of the other of values in the preamble to our Constitution. But just as a general matter when you're making a budget, isn't it a, maybe a good idea to say, well, if I can't explain this to the to the uh, coal miner in West Virginia, why his tax dollars should pay for Corporation for Public Broadcasting or National Endowment for the Arts, that, that why is that wrong to use that as a sorting technique because for spending corporation money? Corporation for Public Broadcasting is like this hair on my head compared to the budget. The budget now they're talking about $54 billion coming out of the domestic agenda into the Defense Department. We all take an oath to protect and defend our country, and we want to do that. But the strength of our country is measured in the health, the education, the well-being of the American people, and the strength of our economy as well. And so they're taking, and then just in terms of budget, they're taking money out of diplomacy. Uh, they're taking money out of areas that are part of our strength, diplomatic soft power. How could they be doing that? I mean, uh, what is it, over 20% cut in diplomacy while they give a 10% increase, $54 billion. And, and the diploma, diplomatic budget is very small.